Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to take low poly designs and turn them into high poly designs. And this is actually a cool feature that I discovered or that I kind of manifested through different creations, through learning, and I'm going to share it with you guys today. I feel like this creates a better look to these kinds of posters. You guys know that I'm very, very heavily uh, involved in selling posters for print on demand um, on my own websites, on different print on demand sites, and uh, sometimes I even focus on creating things around that. I mean, I've shown uh, different posters that I've created here, like different tutorials, uh, different things like that, that we're going to have in the uh, uh, POD degree. Um, and you could see here all kinds of different, all kinds of different stuff here. Uh, so I figured. If you guys want to level up your print-on-demand skills, create better designs that genuinely look better, you might enjoy this. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what I call like a, maybe like a medium poly, maybe not low poly, but it's it's a poly enough, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this image, all right, on our computer here, and then I'm going to open up Luminar Neo, uh, Luminar Neo, Luminar Neo. Who cares? The pronunciation doesn't matter. I will leave a link in the description, the cheapest, cheapest place you can grab it. Um, I actually checked. It's not $15 a month. It's actually like $9 a month uh, is what I pay. I think something close to that. So uh, a little FYI. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the... I'm going to go to my all photos here and just drag and drop the design. Uh, don't mind this one. This one is just a, a different thing. Don't worry about that. But this is the original design. So when you have a low poly design like this, whether you created it with uh, Leonardo AI, with Midjourney, uh, maybe even you sat there and worked on uh, design for hours and created it yourself, I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit better. So I'm going to go over here and hit edit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to mystical. And what mystical is going to do is it's going to fade out the harshness of the design, meaning those lines is going to fade it out a little bit more and it's going to bring more light to the design in certain areas. So watch this. So I'm going to, this is zero mystical right now and I'm going to drag it all the way up. So you see what just happened here? It, it, it brought some softness to the design and a little bit of light. Now in that, right, the harsher details are less defined, right? And the differences between the dark and the light are also more defined, but it looks a little more palatable in my opinion. Then what I like to do is after this happens, sometimes I like to take a look at this glow feature. Now the glow feature essentially does exactly what it sounds like. It makes the lighter items more lighter, more brighter. And uh, I like to put it on glow, not soft focus. And I like to drag it just ever so slightly and I like to see where it goes. And the best way you can kind of see the effect of this is on the clouds. So if you look at the clouds, Right, keep your eyes focused on the clouds. Right now it's at zero, and then I'll drag it all the way up. You see how that glow glowed up a little bit? And that's what it does. It makes the uh, items that are somewhat bright a little bit brighter. And I like to do this um, just to give a little bit more of that faded effect to it. Uh, you can even play around with your film grain here. So film grain is gonna add a little bit of grainy texture to the poster, and you could actually see here how it will look. And that does really does shift the design entirely when you use the film grain with these mixtures of the other settings that I do. I typically go with film grain absolutely last because I like to make some color changes to the actual design. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So now that the design has two settings kind of implemented, the mystical and the glow, not the film grain, the film grain is ver at the very end. I like to take a look at how the actual composition is made. So here I see dark and it comes down to a lighter color. And here as well, I see a little bit of dark comes down uh, up here to a lighter color. So it seems like to me on maybe about 50% or maybe even a little bit more, 75% of the design goes from dark to light around the corners. So I might try a very, very light vignette. So right here, and then I'm gonna scroll to the left very slightly. And this is where it's cooked like, the vignette is where it's uh, all the way to the edge, and then this is at zero. So uh, what I like to do is I like to take it all the way to the left, and obviously I'm not going to leave it like this, but I, I do this so I can show the, the, the size and the shape of the vignette. So you could see here, 
it's almost like an oval, like a, a vertical oval. And what I like to do is play around with how it's going to look. So I, I want to make it less drastic. My goal is not to make a vignette here. It's just to make it less, a little bit less drastic, right? So something like this is what I'm looking for, where the size is at maybe like a 90, maybe like a 90, right? Or even 85. And the amount is a negative 61. Very, very slight. Nothing, nothing major at all. And mostly because of that size feature. So I'm really just touching up the corners a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my um, <clears throat> develop. So I'll go over here and scroll up. And I'm going to take my smart contrast to the right hand side. And what smart contrast does is exactly what it sounds like. It will make what's <clears throat> lighter, lighter, or it will essentially add more color to the photo, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And notice how the darker parts got a darker color, a darker hue, and the, and the lighter colors got a more orangey kind of hue. And you can see that right here. And what this does now is this shifts the design entirely. In fact, this is how it originally looked. This is how it looks now. I would say this is a little too dark, and that's why I can increase my exposure, right? So I can increase my exposure kind of like this, and the co uh, contrast is a little there. Then when that happens, sometimes the colors get a little bit washed out. So what I personally want to do is I go over here to my color, and I play around my saturation, right? And I like to keep it a little less, like, I would say 75% of the way through with the saturation. And... You could see here, this is a decent look for me. So here's the original, and here's what it is now. I could decrease even the saturation just a little bit and increase that vibrance a little bit and give it more life. And, th and that's kind of how it looks now. Now at the final, very end, then I like to play around with the film grain and see how that will bring characteristics to my design. You could see here, it sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. For this design, I think I'm going to keep film grain off. And you guys let me know, do you like this design more than you like this one or this one? So tell me, what do you think? Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of improve designs. This is just one of the many different kind of design styles that I like. If you like the original more, let me know. Think about what would you have <clears throat> in your house, right? What would you buy? Would you rather buy the first one or the second one? Hey, you might not even buy any of them. I personally wouldn't either, to be 100% honest, but I know there's someone out there who would. So I figured I'd make this video. You guys can go ahead and play with around with these features. And there are certain photos that this would actually look really, really cool on, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and peace out. Bye.